what you can see here is the present value of a future value t years out is equal to, the present value is equal to that future value divided by a dollar, so to speak, plus whatever additional interest rate I'd earn on it. And remember, the interest rate would be a number like 0.05, 5%, not 5. So, and is raised to the power of the time period you're out there. Why? Because it's compounding. If I earned it for three years, I earned interest the first year, and then I would have earned interest on the interest for the second, and interest on the interest for the third. So this this exponent is nothing more than compounding. And I'm sure many of you have seen this, but just understand, if I take the future value and discount it by this number, divided by this number, discount it, I'll get the present value. Now, a very simple example, and obviously I chose a simple example. Let's go one year out. So the power here is one year out. That's a very simple one for everybody to do. And imagine that the number is $105 is what I believe the cash flow will be a year from now, okay? But it's a year from now, and I assess that I could have been making 5% on my money in that year if I'd have done something else.